Hello everybody and welcome to another demo uh, related to Material Ledger. But before starting with Material Ledger and all the elements, uh, I want to show you my enterprise structure that I will use for my activation of Material Ledger and assignment of different components. Um, Imagine that you have um, a newly created plant and you have to assign all the elements of material layers layer to this plant, which will be my valuation area. Okay, so the first thing is check if we have, we have defined my plant, okay? So here in definition, logistic general, define copy delete check plant. I want to check if I, if I have defined my, my plant, the system. Okay, so my plan will be 8001. Okay, so as you can see, my plant is defined. It's already created. Second step. Check if my plant is assigned to a company code. Okay, so in enterprise structure assignment, I want to show you that it's already assigned, but I want to show you in, in the screen. Okay, my plant will be 801. Okay, it's as you can see, my plant is assigned to a company code, 8888. Okay, so the previous checking are, are done. Okay, let's, let's move on and go directly to material layer. Okay, I, I want to close this, this part of the tree and go to controlling, product cost controlling, Actual costing material layer. Okay. First assignment we have to do is assign material layer type to my valuation area. My valuation area is our plant. Okay, so as no credit, I want I want to credit it. My valuation area is 8001 and my material layer type is 7 on zero. This is my material layer type. Okay, so you can see that is and the currencies are allowed in FI. So, so we can we can save our our data. Okay, data was saved. So let's go back. And second step is activate material layer for my valuation area. Okay, so I will activate it and search for my valuation area, which is 801. And as you can see, my material layer is sent active yet. We have to check it. And for determination, we have two options. Or Transaction based or single multi level. I want to choose transaction based, which is the most common of predetermination. So enter and we will save it. And check, check out this message. After activating material layer, live data must be converted. Continue and save it. Okay. Our, our third step is out of customizing. We are going to to, to the user menu, okay? And here, here is opened. And we go to product cost controlling, actual cost in material layer, and in environment, we will set our valuation area as productive. So let's go back to set, set the start and 
our plant is 8001. Okay? We uncheck background purchasing and press run and execute. Okay. As you can see, there, there's no, no red errors. Um, there, there is only only one warning, which is okay for, for, for us. I'm happy with this result. And for now, our, our, our material layer is productive in our valuation area, our plant. Okay? So let's go back. And I want to show you customizing settings of, of our evaluation area. Here, TKM19. Here, our plant is by default. And you can see that our evaluation area plant is active. Okay, in material layer. Okay, we have fast, almost finished. A few settings I would like to show you are related to customizing. Okay. So, next step, I want to show you only in the screen because we are not allowed to change it. Okay, currency types in our material layer type okay i choose material layer type 1710 oh, or you or you can you can mm, check whichever for instance we have one here 0001 that has two two different currency types okay but our Material layer type is 1710. It has only one currency type. Okay. So let's go back. Ah, only, only uh, we, we can change this um, because we have already set as productive our material layers, but we can we can change it. We could change it before uh, putting as productive the material layer in in my valuation area okay so we are finishing and our last settings are in assign material of the structure to a valuation area and i will only check because i know that, it, that this, this this is already set okay by default, my valuation area has a, a material layer update structure, okay, which is number one. Okay, one once checked that, and the, the last the last setting we have to do in material layer is define movement type groups of ma material layer. Okay, you can see we have to, to um, movement type groups of material layer. Okay, CC and CF. We can, we can create, a, create more, uh, uh, sorry. I, we can create more inventories here. But these these are for on for default. We, we can see them. Okay, and here and yeah, we can assign this material layer, this movement type group into a section on code type story. Okay, and we can see. For I, instance, I, I, I want to send um, movement type groups here, but we can do that. For instance, 
uh, we have a transaction type 106 um, with, with these elements, we can, we can assign the movement type groups we have seen before. Okay, um, and last, uh, regarding the, ante, the former, the former uh, material update structure, I want to show you how to define one. Okay, for we have only one defined, okay, which is the standard. You can see a procurement and consumption, but we have more more categories. Okay, we have receipt or the receipts consumption and consumption. The most common are um, purchases and consumption. Procurement and, and, and consumption. Which for me is okay. For me, it's okay to have in the standard. The standard is in, in the one provided by, by SAP in this material at the structure. So, for at the moment, and this is uh, for me, it's okay for this material layer setting. And I hope you. you you will find it easy, easy too. So thank you so much and goodbye.